Yo, folks, welcome back to Windless Zephyr plays Risk of Rain. Uh, I'm I'm a little out of it today. I don't know why. Just, I mean, I am always, but more so than usual. And some of the skin on my thumb is peeling off, and it's kind of painful. This is going to be entertaining. So, last time we worked on unlocking some stuff, successfully unlocked some things. Today, I think I'm just going to do a normal old run. No artifacts. No, no specific goals. Just just trying to win. And I'm going to play as... Uh, who am I going to play as? I kind of want to... I hate I hate playing as Handy, but I think I'm going to do it. And you know what? Screw screw the whole not having any specific goals. I'm going to see... What do I got to do for Handy? Handy, Handy. There we go. Kill 10 enemies simultaneously with Force 3 Assembly. That's the fourth skill. That shouldn't be too difficult. Stay above 70% health for 25 minutes. Alright, that I don't think is going to be very easy. See if I can pull this off. Probably not, but I'm going to try. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try at least. So if if for some reason I end up failing absolutely miserably, which is probably highly likely with this character given that I can't play as, as it for crap, freaking handy and your slow ass slowness of slow, so slow, slow. We'll see if I can pull out, if I can, you know, get anywhere. Somehow it's kind of unlikely. I think it is. Bonk. So, Handy attacks really slowly. He's a melee character, has really powerful stuff. And he's got the little drones. You see them circling me there? They home in on enemies, do damage, heal you. And if you kill an enemy with it, then you'll get a drone. Well, if you kill an enemy at all, you get a drone back. That was a completely unnecessary kill there, but I did it anyway. So whatever. So, from my perspective, what Handy really, really needs more than anything, since it already does tons of damage, is attack speed upgrades and speed upgrades. Anything that gives you some kind of, you know, combat or mobility prowess increase upgrade, something like that. That's where Handy struggles. That's what Handy needs. It's also got Overclock. Makes you attack a lot faster and lets you move quickly for a few seconds. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have some fun. Imps! Dead imps! <laughs> Take them all out in one shot. So. Wandering Vagrant should not be a problem so long as I can just... Pay attention to when those little shots pop out and move around accordingly. Now, the drones are actually, I think they are definitely Handy's strongest skill, strongest asset. You can only have 10 of them at a time though, so if you start killing a bunch of enemies, then you're just kind of wasting drone potential. Which is not something I like to do. Alright, so far so good. Yep. Really what I should be doing is saving them to heal, to saving the drones so I can heal myself. That sounds like work. <laughs> and by that sounds like work, I mean, eh. Alright. So I got a few items there, I could talk about them if I wanted. Uh, piggy bank gives me money over time. Spike strip when I get hit, drops a spike strip that slows enemies, which is kind of lame actually. Then the harvester scythe. When I land a critical hit, I get healed for some amount. I believe it starts at 10. Something like that. So, pretty pretty decent start. Not the best. A lot of, a lot of average items being found here. Concussion Grenade is cool, but not super useful given how infrequently Handy can actually attack. Unless it applies to the drones, in which case, hell yes, and sign me up. This little pocket of sand crabs here is disconcerting, but okay. Yeah, it's doing just fine. Really, really would like some some uh, attack speed upgrades, though. Another piggy bank, another life savings. Well, I guess I gained gold over time faster than I did before. How exciting! Not really. 
Fire shield, when I take a certain percent of my health, I explode, does damage, hurts things, is good. And I'll just toss the rest of these drones, whatever. Maybe that'll kill something? Ah, uh, darn. I was hopeful. Okay. I got a few seconds left, so I'm gonna get a little bit more loot here. Take out some more imps. Bonk. Gasoline sets the ground on well. I'm sure you guys can read. Probably. I'd be concerned if you couldn't, but I guess that's your business, not mine. And chance to bleed enemies on hit. I'm just getting all the white tier items right now. What is the deal with this? I mean, these these items are good. They allow for some really great uh, applications of fundamentals. But they're not really, like, run winners or anything. That has got to be the wildest spawn in here I've ever seen. Hmm. Interesting. I suddenly had a thought. I wonder if Handy can uh, hit the buttons in the magma barracks to unlock the artifact. With force reassembly, probably, this thing. Hammer. Really big hammer. Kind of comes out of nowhere. Makes sense. Something about hammer space? Personally, I don't want to interact with those particular Lemurians. The shock elites are the scariest. This is oh, wow. Health shrines. Ooh, jar of souls. That is a good item. And nothing. Darn. Alright, well, I'll have to remember those things are there. Not like I can really use them that much, but... It's good to know, at least. I can't afford that, so who cares? This thing I would like to buy, but I can't afford it. I don't really like farming on this stage too much as Handy. Just... I mean, Handy is so slow as is. I don't like taking more time than I have to. Although I will gladly take out some regular Lemurians. Because these things do not concern me. Bonk, 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 bonk. Welcome to playing as Handy in Risk of Rain, where you're, uh... What you can expect from this trip with Handy. Bonk, bonk, really big bonk, bonk. And maybe some little robot drone things, too. Ancient Wisp. Darn. Yes, got him. You know, I might be able to pull off killing 10 enemies at once with Force Reassembly right here. And I missed. And I missed again. Darn. There we go. Oh, I didn't get ten of them. Darn. Ah, I'm not getting the timing down. This is disappointing. This is like the silliest. This is seriously the silliest way I've done this. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but it works. I haven't even used Jar of Souls yet. Yes! Kill 10 enemies simultaneously with forced reassembly. I'm actually really proud of that. I, I, I must say that the only reason I was able to pull that off is because of this entirety. This entirely serendipitous placement of the teleporter. So just gotta keep up this rhythm here, and I should be fine. Make sure I keep my drones in there for some healing. Staying above 75% health for 25 minutes... Seems... doable, but in all honesty, what I'd really want to do for that is just kind of hang around and do nothing. Like, just... Like, just, 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 just have a run where I don't run around, I don't interact with enemies. Just... just sort of cheat the system a little bit. This is the part where I want to use the Jar of Souls. Hey, cool, ATG Missile Mark 1. 
toss my drones out there to damage things. I don't exactly need the healing, but whatever. Okay. All that being done, I'm gonna go look around for some loot. Oh, you little jerk. I must say, though, those missiles are gonna do a lot of damage when they do fire. Cool. All enemies killed. I got a few minutes. Go open some of these chests. I'll buy a missile drone, because I can. Because missile drones are cool. And I'm cool. I'm not actually cool. Alright, that just stacks to heal me more each time I land a crit. I don't have any critical hit in critical hit chance boosting items yet. Or I'll just get a third harvester scythe, that's fine. I don't have any items like that just yet, but if I find any, it's gonna change the run a lot. Granted, at the same time, as I've said before, Handy's slow fire rate is just such a detriment to playing well. Or to doing well, to success. Is it just me, or did I think that that attack drone was actually a missile drone? Shouldn't have bought it. Darn. Welp. That's, uh... My bad. <laughs> I screwed up. That's fine. Not like the attack drone is really gonna hurt me that much. Attack drones are pretty good. I mean, they can be. Was there seriously a third health shrine around here? That's ridiculous. I'm not going to look around too much longer, but I have a lot of money and I want to see if there's at least something else. Like this. This is this is something. Another fire shield. I think that just does more damage. The explosion, I mean. I think? I could be wrong. I don't necessarily know how some of these items stack. Alright, anything in the immediate vicinity over here? Probably not. I would say it doesn't hurt to check, but it may very well hurt to check. And at this point, I might as well just, can just you know, complete the circuit and keep looking around. I haven't checked this little section here yet. So I'll be running a bit behind the time that I would like. Uh, I don't even think that's possible. Not gonna try. Sticky bomb, chance to stick a bomb on enemies on hit, bitter root 8% up. All of these white tier items, just so many of them. And there's a speed upgrade, which is also exactly what I wanted. And also another white tier item. What am I missing? Barbed wire? The, uh, the taser thing? I forget exactly what that's called. I think it might just be taser, actually. Crowbar? There's a lot of white tier items I'm missing, but I'm getting tons of them anyway building my character up from like a base level as opposed to a more play style shifting item type thing. That's what the red tier items are as far as I'm concerned. An item should be red tier if it changes how you play the game. That's exactly it. That's it. That's all there is. Alright. Ooh, nice. Sunken tombs. I'm happy to see this. The stage is much, much less of a pain in the ass to handle. There is always a discounted small chest down here. So I might see about getting it. Start building up my supply of healing drones. They're not really healing drones, they're just like special drones. I don't even know how I describe them, honestly. They're just handy as cool. Here are some drones. <laughs> handy is such a tough character to play as, but if you can pull it off, you know, more power to you. It's, it's excellent. The attack drone is actually putting in a lot of work right now. Ooh, yes! Speed up forever. So, Red Whip, if you're out of combat for one and a half seconds, that is a very lucky teleporter. Then you get a huge speed buff. I believe it is 80%. Also, did I just hear two Colossi spawn? That's, that's ridiculous. Can you hit me up here? Oh, you can. Oh, Jesus, all of you can as well. That's, that's nice. Hello. Oh, there's two Colossi. Interesting. Interesting. Not super psyched about that, but whatever. That's right, sand crabs. Back off. Or get hammered. Oh, shit. It's fine. 
took a bunch of damage, but that's okay. What do you think you're doing? Trying to float at my level? Yeah, good luck with that. Ain't gonna work. You suck too much. What I'm doing right now, actually, is just biding my time until I can use the Jar of Souls more effectively. Which I will be doing shortly, for sure. And I can just keep bopping some things. I landed a crit there, which means that somehow I have an increased crit chance. I'm not sure how, though. <laughs> I can hit those sand crabs from there. Uh... Yeah, no, this is just fine. Damn, that is a big hitbox. I never even realized. And my one attack drone is actually... is seriously helping out a lot right now. May not look like it, but trust me, it is. Toss some of my own drones in there. And I'll just go ahead and pop the Jar of Souls now. Just to... because reasons, mostly. There's that one clay man over there on the left, chilling on that platform. Alright, yeah, this is, this is just more of me exploiting the bounce pad mechanics. Probably not something I'm supposed to be doing, but it works, so I ain't gonna complain about it. These freaking clay men. Leave me alone. Drones. And I'm totally down with another jar of souls should help me to do quite a number on a lot of these things around here. Oh shit, oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Another red whip, I don't even think those actually stack, honestly. That's a shame. I mean, it's, it's a good item. It's cool to have. I just don't think they actually stack at all. Alright. Drones, because I can. And I can totally hit this Colossus from here. Alright, cool. Cue the soon victory, and I'll just use the Jar of Souls again, because whatever, really. I don't think I care that much. Alright, that is all the enemies, so now it's time to go look for some stuff. That went surprisingly well, I gotta say. I never realized that bounce pads were so useful with handy. Very good to know, though. Oh, right, I forgot. I have the red whip. So, movement skills are completely pointless when you have the red whip item. And I have two of them, which I don't think does anything, sadly. So, I believe this is... Is this the layout with Accurate? I, I never know. They all look the same to me. Man, that shrine is not being very nice. It is not. Give me something good. Ukulele is good. Chance to shock enemies on hit. That is actually pretty excellent. Yeah, fine. Oh, are you are you serious? Freaking! I could have bought a bunch of laser drones or something. That's just me. Darn. I think that's it for the loot on this stage, though. What are you doing there? Eh, whatever. Carry on. Aw, oh, I didn't make it to the pit. Hive cluster. This is not where I'd like to spawn in on the hive cluster, but it's fine. Magma barracks would have been probably devastating, though. It's so difficult to handle a cremator and crowds of enemies when you're so slow. Alright. No teleporter along there. Ooh. Eh, Sombrang is pretty good, but I'd rather have Jar of Souls. The Jar of Souls is ooh, and then... Eh, I'd still rather have Jar of Souls. Back up now? Are you serious? Jeez. Okay, okay, this is the time where I gotta get out of here. I can't hang around parents too much unless I'm out of the way of where they can actually hit me. This is... this is scary. 
Jesus, Handy, you are so slow. Alright. I am concerned. I am actually very concerned right now. Alright, if I can get these parents to so all just kind of chill in that little spot right there. Pop Jar of Souls. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. I'm running, I'm running. Running, 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 running. Okay. 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 What do I do here? Well, these spitters are gonna wreck me if I don't do something about them. Maybe if I just keep running back and forth and letting my drones do a bunch of damage, I should be okay. Okay, oh, that's death. Shouldn't have gone for a forced reassembly right there. Alright, well... I, I think I kind of saw that coming. I mean, I the handy is seriously... Seriously a tough one to use. Ugh. Alright, try again. It wasn't really a strong... It wasn't a very strong run anyway. It was just kind of a lot of... Exploiting mechanics. Bouncing. A lot of bouncing. Which is not necessarily the best option to use, because then you get levels like that, where there are no places to bounce. So, I, I kind of brought that on myself, really. Yes and no. I mean... Eh, whatever. Who cares? There's no reason to dwell on it. It's not like those exact circumstances are going to become a thing again. It's basically impossible. It's the nature of, you know, random generation. Force reassembly is just so weird. It's not something I ever want to use, really. It's so slow. Barbed wire, I actually want. Does damage to enemies nearby. Doesn't seem all that useful, but given how frequently such a slow character is in the thick of things, it can be huge. I'll just take out a couple more enemies so I can purchase whatever we set that shop. As per usual in this game, you don't want to hang around too long. Alright, but I will totally kill these things because I can, and they're here. And I get a speed upgrade immediately. Heck yes exactly what I want to see. I think I would actually rather see a red whip like I got last time, but uh, I ain't gonna complain. Got another fire shield, that's fine. A couple of imp shrines, don't care. It's possible I'll come back for those. Fireworks I would actually like to have. I think that could be useful. And here's the teleporter. Sweet. Another imp shrine. And a magma worm. Damn. Alright, magma worm is really scary with a slow character. But at the same time... D can do a lot of damage to the worm in a very short amount of time. Well, with attacking multiple segments at once. Oh, Heaven Cracker. Okay, that's cool. So every fourth basic attack that I use now has infinite range and pierce until it hits a wall. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like this. So, so part of what makes a handy run successful is, in some ways, making handy a viable ranged character. A heaven cracker is a very good way to go about doing that. Go about achieving that sort of end. Or harvester scythe. Boom. See, because you can you can do really cool things like that. 
Oh, are you serious? A couple of these little jerks got away. Not for long! And I get a double jump. Well, I guess mid-air jump is probably more correct. Something like that. Cool. This is, this is going pretty decently. Drones that I didn't need to use but did anyway. See if I can't just pierce these things from a distance. Yeah, see? And of course, the added effect of Handy's basic attack, which can stun enemies, is applied to the... to the infinite pierce. So, hell yes. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. Can I hit you from here? I totally can! <laughs> I feel so powerful right now. Yeah, you know what? I have a drone. Now, I don't have anything to increase my actual damage output yet, but I'm getting there. There's really no reason to use those drones, but I did it anyway. In fact, I'm just going to use them all because it's, it makes killing enemies easier, so why not? Fireworks, I'd like to have that. So opening chests or buying things like drones or um, containers and stuff now it makes me shoot out some fireworks that do a bunch of damage. I should probably leave. I've got a fair amount of stuff with me. It's cool. The double the uh, midair jump is excellent. Heaven Cracker is wonderful, but not the Heaven Cracker is not really what I need yet. If I can get some more some attack speed upgrades like at all, then the Heaven Cracker is extremely useful. Alright, regular shrine. I was hoping to see a health shrine, but no. There are, however, some Lemurians, which I will be eviscerating because they're here and I can. Which is as good a reason as any, I think. Was that Elite seriously showing through sh shooting missiles and exploding on me? That's mean. Oh, you're not dead. You should be dead. There. Barbed wire. Thank you, barbed wire. I'd really rather not interact with greater wisps if I can help it. Those things are a pain. I mean, this is fine so far. It's, it's just like the last run. Like, it was... It's good. There's potential. But harnessing that potential is going to be a little bit difficult. I'm not going to stick around to kill that thing. Pretty sure I have enough money to buy at least a small chest, which is all that I want right now. Or I could play the shrine once, I guess. I might. Just no teleporter, that's cool. Yeah, whatever. Nothing. Got some fireworks out of it. There's that health shrine I was looking for. Yeah, this this really isn't scary a scary situation. The spitters can hurt me for sure, but it doesn't really do that much. So whatever. There we go. Pop a health shrine. Do it again. I'm not doing it a third time because that would probably get me killed. Yes. I should really try to remember a little bit better that I have barbed wire. So I can use that for some really easy, low damage, quick quick kills. Another magma worm. Two magma worms! Holy shit, okay. I'm not too thrilled about this. Oh my god, two magma worms? Are you serious? That's not very nice. There's that red whip I wanted. At the very least, I can do a fair number on these things. And I'm not even sure if they can actually hit me here or not. 
It looks like they can't, so, uh, cool. I'm staying right here. Wow, look at me missing. Look at me missing. Seriously, can they not hit me right here? That is huge. And probably not supposed to be a thing. Alright, plasma chain. Oh no, the monster log! No! No, I need that. Ah. So plasma chain, when I hit an enemy, there's a chance that I tether onto them. It does damage to the enemy and everything in between me and it. Burning witness uh, makes me track fire and move faster when I kill something. Which is which is good. It's good. I think it's good. I think it can be argued that it's not, but I disagree. I want that monster log, but it's not accessible at all. Like, it's actually just straight up impossible to get. Sorry, Spitter. Can't hit me. Nope. I'm waiting on the timer right now. That's why I'm just chilling. Dancing. Around the Spitter shots. Uh, I was hoping that would work. I messed up. Oh shit, look at all this crap. Alright. Oh god. Okay. The bouncing does not. The bouncing does not. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? I've devised for myself a terrible situation. Oh jeez, this is bad. Okay. Alright, you know what, you single Lemurian? I need you to die. I need you to die so I can get some drug get a drone at least. Thank you. Now heal me. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yes, yes, wrecked. I know. I can't say I'm surprised. Well, with that, I guess that's gonna do it. I mean, I don't necessarily want to call it karma. I was just kind of cheating the game, not getting hit by those magma worms over there. So I guess I deserve that. So, welp. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all later, I guess. So yeah, I'm Ollie's Audi.